Oh, dude, I kind of wanted to talk about this sub-split stuff. Yeah, I was wondering, um, how much longer do you think Twitch is going to be around? Because is everyone just going to YouTube? I think it's it's not looking too great. I think it's looking really good. I mean, Twitch is going to be fine-ish, but it's just kind of ass. So YouTube is not making very much profit from uh, streaming. The way that they're making profit is from the videos. Uh, yeah. So they're taking like a hit, but then it's bringing traffic to YouTube essentially, and that's why they're doing it. YouTube has a bigger budget for live streaming than uh, from Google than Amazon has for Twitch. Yeah. I, I would assume. Which is crazy because Amazon is Amazon, but then- But Google they, is they Google, have to, you know? Yeah, and they have to budget. Yeah. Do you think that now that Twitch made this change that they're still gonna be profitable or are they going to be profitable? Do you think this will make them profitable and then they won't go in the red? Or do you think it's just like, I don't think it's enough. It's probably not enough. Here's, here's one of the big issues too, is like, this is what, this is what people are upset, right? Cause the 70-30 deal, like you, if you have the 70-30 sub split, like you're lucky. Like, cause not everybody has that. But uh, nobody that, has that now, right? They haven't been giving it out to new people for a long time, yeah. supposedly. But if you have that, then you're like lucky to have that to begin with. But the problem is now, is that YouTube has changed their base pay, their base sub split to 70-30. So, so now it's like YouTube has a base 70-30 sub split for members. So, well, the culture isn't there of people getting like memberships on YouTube but it's getting better and better. Now YouTube has added hosting. Twitch is getting rid of hosting. They want people to raid. That's stupid, because it like kills offline chat culture. It doesn't kill offline chat, but it just makes it annoying. Why is it getting rid of hosting actually? Because they, they, they want people to raid, because they want people to actually go to the other person's channel. Which, to be fair, raiding usually is better. But if I want to host somebody Yo, offline, dude. Hope then you're I can't having do that a good anymore. day. You guys remember how I used to have a contract with Twitch? My contract didn't get re-upped with because because of some weird stuff and then they came out with this new ad deal it's like yeah but you can do like the 55 percent thing i'm like yeah but this is not equal to what i was getting before yeah and also it wasn't even available to me like basically what happened was whenever whenever i lost my contract it cut like 40 percent of my income but with this new ad revenue thing right maybe the music's too loud yeah maybe yeah, but which doesn't actually bring any traffic to their site like, I, not that I am aware of. It's all this on the streamer's end. So the gas prices of just like streaming in general being 50% of your income or of what you would be earning, just 50% of the entire ordeal. It just means that that's how expensive it is to stream. Yeah. I mean, I, I get why they- For them, but I'm confused. Is it, is it that really how it is? It's pretty bad. The cost of streaming is actually really bad. If we wanted to just like run our own streams, like on our own server and stuff, and just people would just like log into like some other website to get it, it would be pretty expensive. No, they own the servers. Yeah, but like they, they own the servers, but like they don't, to be fair, they don't just like pull data out of their ass, right? They pull it out of Jeff Bezos' ass. <laughs> Does YouTube Live make money or is that being back for the rest of what YouTube makes? Well, Google owns YouTube and Amazon owns Twitch. That doesn't necessarily mean Twitch has all of Amazon's money. It's not like you have one bank account and then all the money is there and you can just spend it however. Like you have budgeting, like Twitch has to get more budget from Amazon for stuff. Like it's not really a, a specifically Twitch problem, but it, it's, a, it's a problem for Twitch, but it's not caused by Twitch. It's the problem is, is Amazon needs to give Twitch more money, but then Amazon doesn't want to give Twitch more money because they're like, well, this is not yeah, operating. Yeah, if they're like, if they're not profitable, yeah. then it's like, why would you keep investing into it? Okay, let's talk about some of the stats Twitch uses in their post. The most obvious CDN cost. <laughs> Using less price to make cost claims is something Twitch has done for years now. It's misleading, but not in the way many streamers think. Broadcast cost, 200 hours times two equals 400. 20K hours of HD viewing is uh, seven cents, 1400, 20,000 hours, full HD viewing hours is 14 cents, so 2800. So a total of 1800 to 3200, and that assumes a 100% NA traffic mixture. This is for a 100 CCV tw uh, Twitch stream. So having more viewers costs them more money. Yeah, I think if Twitch gets rid of Prime subs, right now, long story short, I think Twitch is in a position where if they get rid of Prime subs, there's uh, effectively no reason to stream on Twitch instead of YouTube. Because even right now, YouTube has better, it's got higher bit rate. The, the tech is just way better. And I mean, the community is on Twitch, but it could very well not be. YouTube chat still sucks. Yeah, but so does Twitch chat. Look at all the extensions that we have for Twitch chat. Like people act like YouTube chat sucks, but Twitch chat also sucks. Like we have we have 7 TV, we have BT TV, we have all kinds of stuff that we get anyway. That stuff exists for YouTube. YouTube has 7 TV too now. Are you thinking about switching? Dude, I already switched. This stream is on YouTube right now.
No, um, I, I'm just saying like it's it's starting to get to that point. Now for me, it's like t Twitch has better like support, individual like partner support. Twitch has much better individual partner support than YouTube does by far. So there is that, and then there's Twitch Prime, but YouTube has like. There's just so much. There's just so much better. Are you banned from streaming on YouTube? Uh, not anymore. I was whenever I started streaming on Twitch. Do you think talking about it is enough? Twitch won't change unless they see it hitting their bottom line. Ultimately, they're a San Francisco-based tech company, and all those companies have the same mindset. Well, I mean, all companies have the same mindset, right? They're a company, and they have to make money, right? Uh, and I get that. That makes sense. But I think the 70/30 deal is like a big. Uh, they want people to run more ads, and the truth is, this is like, I know ads suck. I get it. But this is, this is the truth. Ads exist to pay, to have big companies pay for the content that you watch and, and you don't have to. And if you don't want to watch ads, then you get Almost like a sub, you get turbo, off. you get something like that. Th that's the truth, you know? I still don't get any ads on Twitch. Hey. <laughs> you know, it's like TV, right? All right. Hi. I mean, I started streaming on YouTube for the first time. Like whenever I started streaming on Twitch, I was like, oh, like I don't want to watch YouTube streams, whatever. I knew even back then, even five years ago, whenever I started streaming, YouTube did a lot of things better than Twitch on the back end. Watching YouTube streams does not bother me. Um, it bothers me. Why? Because it looks like a weird version of Twitch. What do you mean? It looks better. It looks, if anything, it looks the same. It does? Yeah, it looks, it looks way better. It's kind of weird because it just like, I mean, it's, it's weird to think that there's a whole like world and also I'm not even sure how to access the streaming category on YouTube like I Yeah, but whose fault is it? It's 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 well, it's YouTube's because every new user is supposed to know how to do things easily Yeah, but if you sub to somebody and they're live like it just it shows right away. How do you find them live? Right here. So we went on here Tim the Tatman is live. Oh Subscriptions, okay. How do you find someone like new? Where's the discoverability? Where's the discoverability on Twitch? No, uh, this, wait. Twitch has no discoverability. Okay, let's say that I go on Twitch, I see an entire thing of like just chatting and all these different sections. Where are the sections? Where do I find someone new? <laughs> Dude, I'm just getting shit on. <laughs> He's just freaking out. <laughs> I reload cancer. How did I fucking do that? <laughs> um, this is the new Modern Warfare 2 is in beta, right? But like, is this really that? I don't think this is bad at all. Like, you can you can scan, you can go, and you can you can actually scroll through wait, the. Wait, are you avoiding my main question because you don't know the answer to it? No, no. Wait, what was your main question? Where are the categories? Where do I find people? This is think, not oh, everyone who's live. There's way more. Where are they? It used to be gaming.youtube.com. This is, is why I'm like weird. Wait, what is Twitch is collapsing? <laughs> <laughs> when you go to gaming.youtube.com, the first thing you see is Twitch is collapsing. And then huge Twitch drama. Dude, that is amazing. That is so funny. <laughs> it's Ludwig's video. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And then and then Critical's huge Twitch drama. What about their just chatting section? They don't have just chatting. Yeah, this is all their game sections. Top live games. Dude, that is so funny. YouTube, gaming.youtube.com slash games. So OTV is on here, right? Uh, not all of them. But yeah, this is it. This is, this is the sections. I was the biggest WoW streamer on, on uh, YouTube five years ago, streaming private servers. And I had like 500 viewers. There is no WoW section on YouTube. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody streams WoW on YouTube.